What's going on guys? So today's scent choice, this it kind of got me walking down the path of some of my favorite fragrances for the cooler weather. Uh, some I haven't reached for in a little while and some that are on the rotation table ready to go including, like I said, my scent choice for today. So these are just some great fresh fragrances. They have a lot of fresh aspects to them, mainly in their top note and opening that just work well in the cooler to cold weather. It's that simple, so stay tuned. Starting with my scent of the day today, this is from a smaller brand, smaller niche brand called Mossy. This is Into Me for men. Let me get the flavor. There we go. This fragrance shocks me more every time I wear it. It's got this beautiful, juicy, fresh, watery, watermelon type of smell. Then it transitions into this crisp and fresh, spicy ginger note that I get pretty much throughout the entirety of the fragrance's life on my skin. It's actually on my skin currently. I only did five sprays today because that was all I really needed. Even wearing this light jacket, I did three around the neck and then hit the sides of my neck each another time for a total of five sprays. Just a gorgeous, easy wear. Has the right performance for the scent profile where it's bright, it's loud in the first hour as most fresh fragrances are. Moving into that hour and a half to two hour mark, starts to slowly sit close to the skin without being really close. It's The sillage isn't something I would call very mild more on the moderate to mild side where you will get light wafts from time to time to remind you that it's there above average performance and longevity in my experience more in that seven to eight hour range it's just a beautiful easy going easy to wear mega fresh fragrance that has enough characteristics to the scent profile that give it enough depth to work in cooler weather for something so fresh that ginger is really what helps this fragrance out in my opinion just Absolutely gorgeous. Get a sample and try this one. I'm loving it more and more every time I wear it. This is Mossy Into Me for men. Next, this is basically a dead ringer for Bleu de Chanel Eau de Parfum, but much more affordable. This is from Missoni. This is called Missoni Parfum Pour Homme. This is a little bit darker overall because it has birch instead of incense, so the smoky tone is a little bit darker in essence. Still has a lot of beautiful citrus at the top, some nice relatively warm woods as it dries a little bit of earthy tones i believe there's a little bit of patchouli in here as well just versatile easy going super fresh at the top with a lot of depth to the scent profile the depth here is provided by like i said notes like the patchouli the woods and that birch leaf that's in here that birch wood birch leaf whatever it is provides that nice smoky tone without taking away all of the bright freshness that's just so inviting about this scent profile. Another one that's above average in performance. You can find 100, find 100 mLs like this right in that $40 range. I want to say I paid maybe 36 bucks for this. I don't exactly remember which discounter online, but that's kind of going rate is in that $35 to $40 range. Pretty hard to beat. Super versatile. A great freshie that's got enough going on and then enough performance to work well in the cold weather. Again, that's some Sony. Parfum Pour Homme. Next, this is a clone of a very fresh fragrance known as Creed Silver Mountain Water. We are talking about Armoff's Club de Nuit Siage. I actually quite enjoy this fragrance. My wife is a huge fan. There's so much reflective to this. It's finally focused, though. Very reflective, but very strong. Definitely a little bit more on the synthetic side, for sure, but it's in the mid-$30 price point, and it really does the trick. Super attractive, metallic, fresh citrus, a little inky, it's a little herbaceous because of this tea note that's in there. It's just a great smelling fragrance. I know it's a little too synthetic for some. I've had, you know, mixed reviews as far as comments every time I've ever featured in the video or in the full review that I did on this fragrance uh, where some people swear by it and some people can't stand it. Hey, it may be for you. It may not be for you. One thing I can say is I enjoy it and my wife enjoys this scent profile even more, whether it's this, whether it's Zerjoff Mephisto, which has a pretty good similarity to it. It doesn't matter whether it's a cheaper clone, a designer that smells that way, just anything along the lines of that Silver Mountain Water DNA, my wife is a big fan. So I don't know how easy it would be to get a sample of this one, but it is pretty affordable. Temper your expectations if you have an issue with synth more chemically synthetic fragrances. Uh, but out in the air, it's absolute magic. Performance is fantastic. The sillage, as it, within the name, is awesome. Just a great fresh fragrance that does very surprisingly well in the cold. So I'm off Club de Nuit Sillage. This is a lot of people's favorite fragrance from this house. We're talking about the House of Parfums de Marley, and specifically we're talking about Sedley. Sedley's great year-round. 
This is one of those fresh fragrances, fougere-ish type of scent profiles that a little bit of a citrus aromatic type of ca characteristic to it as well. There's mint, there's I believe grapefruit, there's a little bit of ambroxan, there's some herbaceousness, it's creamy. It'll surprise you how well it actually performs because you'll go a little anosmic to it and then eight hours down the road from your, your first spray, you may get a compliment from somebody walking in your trail. This stuff will surprise you. Super versatile. A lot of fresh aspects, like I said. A lot of depth to the scent. Surprising depth to the scent that really makes it stand on its own in the cooler weather. Even though this really can shine in spring and summer, fall and winter, it is no slouch. If you're the type that likes fresher stuff, maybe you don't like these heavily spiced and boozy, tobacco-dense fragrances, Something like this may do the trick for you. Um, a little bit higher quality than you would expect from designers you'll find at the counter on at Macy's, uh, but not the top tier of luxury niche either. Kind of falls somewhere in between, kind of a more entry-level niche, I guess you could say. Versatility is definitely a clear-cut strong suit with this fragrance, but it's just enjoyable. I, I don't really know anybody that doesn't enjoy this scent profile. It's just, it's a home-run scent DNA in my opinion. Like I said, it's a lot of people's favorite from the brand for sure. Just a great freshie for the cool. Apart from the Marley Sadly. Next, this has a bunch of aquatic tones and freshness, but still some dense, deep, and rich incense and earthy patchouli. This is a hype beast classic. It is Aqua de Gio Profumo from Giorgio Armani. Let me get it to focus. That would just be great if it would focus. If I do like that, there we go. This beautiful parfum concentration, like I said, it maintains a lot of freshness at the top. A lot of the base DNA of Aqua de Jo, but much more mature and well-rounded. The incense and patchouli notes here really round out the scent character here. In my opinion, for as much as I wear the other ones, there's others in the line that I do wear more than this one. I think I hold this one in too high of a regard. That's why I don't wear it enough. I still think this is the king of the hill for the scent profile. For this DNA, I still think this is the best version of Aqua de Jo you can get. Performance is great. Versatility is head and shoulders above every other fragrance in the line, in my opinion. And you don't lose any of the freshness or that magic attractiveness that any of them, especially the original, is known for. Just a beautiful fragrance. Cuts through the cold well. In my opinion, this is the best version of Aqua de Jo for the cooler weather. And like I said, it's kind of cliche to talk about it at this point, but... It's a modern classic, in my opinion, and it fits this scent, this topic very, very well. So I had to feature it. That's Aqua Di Gio Profumo from Giorgio Armani. Next, this is on the upper echelon of what you can expect. Definitely the most expensive fragrance in this video, but it's a beautiful, rich citrus fragrance that shines in the cooler weather. It is from Raja Parfums. This is called Harrods Parfum Pour Homme. This fragrance is absolutely stunning. Let me get that to focus for you guys. That would just be peachy if it would do that for me oh there we go so now that I've got it focused the beautiful forest green color with the gold insignias you can see that juice level starting to drop love the green jewels in the cap this is classified as a citrus fragrance because it's full of citruses but because it's a high oil concentration and the quality of the oils used here it's on the dense and sweeter side of citrus still has this nice green herbal backbone to the fragrance it definitely smells of class and luxury timeless style done right done to perfection in my opinion performance is fantastic as you would expect it's not a super loud projector that's really gonna push heavily off your skin but the sillage and scent cloud that you're gonna have surrounding yourself for many hours is a pretty dense and thick cloud that will linger in the air this is a captivating scent profile if you're into fresher, more citrus dominant fragrances. It just doesn't have the airiness of a lighter oil concentration citrus because it's so dense. Like I said, it makes the citruses a little bit sweeter, a little bit thicker overall. Kind of sticky citrus sweet, if you will. Just a stunning fragrance. This was one of the first fragrances that came to mind when I thought about fresh for the cooler weather. 
this is one of the better ones I own. Definitely some really, really good stuff. Get yourself a sample and try this one. It's very expensive price per ml. This is uh, definitely not easily achievable for everyone. If you're into more of the cheapies and more affordable fragrances, it's still worth having an olfactive experience just to see what I'm talking about. So like I said, I would try to secure maybe a small decant or sample somewhere online just to try it. But for those of you that are looking for a higher-end luxury fragrance that is just one of the better freshies for the cooler weather, at least in my opinion, you might want to check this out. It's Roger Parfum's Harrods Parfum Pour Homme. Finally, this is one that I really enjoy more and more every time I spray it. I was underwhelmed the first time I smelled it because I, I feared my assumption of it before I bought it was what I was actually getting, which was just a watered down, fresher version of Stronger With You. Well, when it comes to Emporio Armani's Stronger With You Freeze, that's a little bit further from the truth than you may think, actually. It's fresher, sure, but not watered down. It's not near as warm and cozy. It's much more fresh and fresh spicy overall. Definitely the freshest of the entire line. I even like this one more than Stronger With You Only. You don't sacrifice a bunch of longevity. I still get seven or eight hours on my skin. Projection, bright, uplifting, a little bit on the stronger side in the first hour to two hours. Then it sits a bit close to the skin with a decent sillage. I'm not going to sit here and say it's remarkably strong and going to have this thick cloud that lingers, but it will definitely remind you it's there throughout its lifespan. You will get moderately kind of strong hits of it from time to time. It's kind of underrated for its power, but it's so fresh compared to the rest in the line that it was an obvious choice for this topic because this particular scent DNA in general is just so alluring, so mass appealing and enjoyable and unique to its own line. The only other line that kind of smells like it is some of the Wanted from Azaro fragrances, more so like Wanted by Night and The Most Wanted and so on. They kind of have some similarities to some of the flankers in this line, but honestly, I think this is a superior fragrance DNA overall. And Freeze is super underrated. A great, fresher take on the DNA that is just perfect for the cooler weather. It really is strong suited type of scent profile and performance for early spring when it's still pretty cool. And then definitely fall moving into winter. I wouldn't want this for the most freezing of cold snowstorms. I mean, it'd still be fine, but these cooler fall days I've been having, this is a stud for that. Emporio Armani, Strong With You Freeze. And what the hell, I forgot I had this one right here as well. I guess we'll do eight instead of seven, because this one is a clear-cut favorite that's fresh, that definitely has more than enough performance to cut through the cold. It's a beautiful, fresh, sweet, and crisp green apple. There's a lot of ambergris here, some sage. It's YSLY Eau de Parfum. A very popular fragrance for this time of year for good reason. Like I said, very, very strong. No worries about cutting through the cold with this one. On the more synthetic side, sure, but I'll tell you what, out in the air, it's captivating. It draws people in. Not everybody has this experience, but a lot of people do. Compliment magnet type of stuff. Obviously, more than just the aroma is going to have to be working in your favor for somebody to want to come walk up to you and tell you you smell nice when it comes to just complete strangers, but it does happen. It has happened in my experience. Wife's a big fan of this DNA. I'm a humongous fan of this DNA. This is kind of the poster child for this video. It's, it was almost a shame that I almost left it out, to be honest with you, because there's so much freshness and just that blue vibe overall with a lot of pushing power, staying power to really cut through the cold. This is one of the better fresh fragrances. I'm not going to dare to say the best fresh fragrance to cut through the cold, but it's definitely upper echelon when we're talking about this topic. Get your nose on this one if you haven't yet. It's kind of the definitive version of the DNA. Yves Saint Laurent, why? Eau de Parfum. Well, that's the eight that I have for you today. And until next time, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. So I do appreciate all the feedback. And I love hearing from you guys. What's some of your favorite fresher fragrances that do really well in the cold? You just like to wear these in the cold. You don't take them out the rotation, even though maybe you've switched to some heavier fragrances. When you move something fresh, these particular ones the ones you like to reach for. I'd love to read about it down below. Obviously, I have more than eight that would have fit this category, but I really wanted to narrow it down to some really good recommendations that kind of cover it across the board from some cheap stuff, clone stuff, all the way to high-end niche. 
we've got a little bit of everything here. And until next time, we'll see if you get your hands on any of the eight that I featured and you give them a spray now. Pretty damn confident you'll thank me later. Have a good one, guys. Thank you.